Welcome back to Sports Edition. I'm Kenny McReynolds. Everybody knows I'm a Chicago White Sox fan. I live and die at White Sox Park, especially the old Comiskey Park. When it comes to sports documentaries, the best one I've seen is a three-parter on YouTube called Last Comiskey. Matt Flesh put this together. Let's bring Matt in. Matt, I told you, despite the fact that I'm in this documentary, it's the best sports documentary I've ever seen. And I understand you just put this together during the pandemic. Yeah, that's right. And that, I mean, thank you so much for saying that. That means the world to hear that from you, especially given where you grew up, uh, right by the ballpark. You were, I think you were my second or third interview that I did for this. And, you know, you were one of the first people to say, no problem. I don't, I don't know you and you have no background and no resume, but sure, I'll do a Zoom call with you uh, for this documentary. And yeah, we, we kept doing that, getting a hold of players and Fenders and Andy Frain people and Nancy Faust and, and just kind of put this together over three years. Now, it's a three-part series on YouTube. The response has been absolutely tremendous. The question I have for you is, where did you get this outstanding footage? I mean, you even got footage of me running around a ballpark as a kid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, it's one of the most fun aspects of this. So we started a Last Comiskey Twitter page about three years ago, and we grew it to about 7,000 followers. And we put out a request to everybody, hey, does anybody have old video of Comiskey Park? And we started getting people saying, hey, yeah, I, I got something in my attic. I got an old VHS tape. So we got people to send in their old VHS tapes when they lugged their big camcorder to the game back in the 80s. Um, earlier, a lot in 1990, and I digitized that, and it was just a treasure trove of really awesome footage, you know, mm -hmm. underneath the stands, in the picnic areas, the catwalks, all those great areas that you talked about. And when you talk about last Comiskey, it's a documentary is talking about the last season at the old Comiskey Park before it was torn down. Yeah, exactly. So... I loved that year. Uh, I just, uh, that team was so exciting, came out of nowhere. David and Goliath story with a backdrop of this old park with so much history. And as you know, Kenny, we, we, we dove into a lot of different aspects, not just that 1990 team. You know, you have a great segment on Dick Allen and what that meant to the community. We talk about 1983. We talk about the beer vendors, what it was like to be a vendor there. Um, so while 1990 is the through line, we tried to really explore a lot of different aspects of the, pike, uh, of the park that people might not have been familiar mm -hmm. with. Are you surprised at the reception that this documentary has received on YouTube? Because you've had quite a few hundred thousand viewers. Yeah, I have to say, I, you know, when we were getting close to putting this in the can, I was feeling really good about it. Like, I, I knew it was going to be well-received by Sox fans, but I think the extent by which it's been taken seriously, you know, we've gotten a lot of media, uh, like yourself, uh, interested in this, just the, the degree by which it's, it's gotten a lot of notoriety and people have seemed to really enjoy it. it it's definitely exceeded any expectations that that I had or my brother who worked with me on this or any of the people who worked on it had that that it would uh, have this kind of reception. It's been awesome. What was the best part of doing th this documentary? The best part would be, you know, I love that old park and just like you so many, you know, yeah. I loved going there. I didn't go there as much as you did. But I think one of the, the just the coolest parts is that everybody you talk to, it kind of like opened up a new thread of stories that I wasn't aware of. I, I didn't really know anything about Chicken Willie. You probably knew Chicken Willie well. Yeah. I didn't know anything about him. Um, mm -hmm. But then it started, you know, players were talking about Chicken Willie. And so I learned all this stuff about what it's like to be a clubhouse guy and what he meant to that team. I didn't know much about vendors. And then I learned that they, they compete, you know, as vendors and they, they're like a family. And then finally, you know, talking to Ozzie Gian, talking to these players that were my heroes as a kid. Um, and doing Zoom interviews with them, all those things were, you know, there's just so many aspects of it that I loved, but I loved all the stories that came out of talking to everybody. Hey, real quickly, what was the most challenging part? Because it's a three-part series and it's a lot of work. Yeah, the, the, this was just, you know, a labor of love weekends. 
nights. But the the most challenging thing is when we started to get all these uh, these stories, like from the vendors, Chicken Willie, you know, talking with you about Dick Allen. A lot of it was like, how do we sequence this in a way that makes sense and continues to be entertaining and fun? And that was, there were times where I just didn't think we'd be able to get all that stuff in. So I, I think the biggest challenge was just how do we sequence it in a way that stays interesting and stays entertaining, mm -hmm. but allows us to explore these things that we thought were really cool that didn't really make sense within 1990. So I think I'm happy with the way we ended up piecing it together, but that was definitely a big challenge. Well, I tell you what, it's the, the best sports documentary I've ever seen. Three-parter, Last Comiskey, go on YouTube. Matt, thanks so much for taking time out being with me. We want to get as many people to watch this documentary because you did one heck of a job putting it together. And thanks so much for letting me be part of your documentary. Couldn't have done it without you, Kenny. Thank you so much for your being in this. And uh, by the way, I was just texting Nancy Faust that I was coming on the show, and she wanted me to tell you that she loves you. So there you go. All right. <laughs> hey, everybody loves Nancy Faust. Hey, all right. right. Doesn't that flesh? Right, last Comiskey, go to YouTube, check it out. Back with more Sports Edition in a minute.